Hi, I'm Erin Hodson. I'm an extension entomologist at Iowa State University and today we're at Field, which is a demonstration farm here in central Iowa. It's part of a seven location demonstration that we're doing this summer for corn rootworm management. So today we talked about some key things like identification of northern and western corn rootworm, how to identify the presence or absence using the float test, we also help people understand the zero to three node injury scale that they can use to assess performance of the management tactics that they're taking to suppress corn rootworm. And then just talked a lot about biology, life cycle, and also sort of a long-term management approach. Well, it's 2022 and we had sort of a strung out planting period of corn across the state of Iowa. And so we had small corn, tall corn, basically uneven between fields, even within kind of a small neighborhood. And this presents a challenge when trying to assess management, maybe thinking about not only this year, but for next year as well. And so normally this time of year, we have adults flying around, but because of a cooler spring, we still have larvae that are actively feeding and causing injury. So I don't want people to assume that the injury is over, um, but they should continue to look and even during this July 6th day, they would still see larvae feeding, which isn't a typical year. We've created a brand new website to aggregate all the information on identification, sampling, management. We even have a real-time mapping feature to show adult captures for 2022 season. You can find that all in a link in the video description where we'll provide some events, publications, and other types of updates, including our contact information.